Nico, I'm sure it can be hard to expect to win when you have those types of defensive breakdowns, maybe giving up too many odd man rushes, breakaways. Why? <laughs> you just said it. Uh, didn't deserve to win that game. Uh, if you give that many on man rushes and even that many breakaways, uh, you're doing something wrong. And uh, that's that simple. Did not deserve to win that game tonight. Why do you think those breakdowns happened for you guys? Just can't happen. Uh, it's just rule number one. Nobody gets behind you. And uh, it's, I mean, I don't know how many breakaways we give up. That's just uh, unacceptable. And is it just frustrating when, as the game goes on, it just keeps happening? And you're not able to. Correct yeah, we're talking about it, and it just keeps happening. Uh, that's definitely something uh, we can't do tomorrow. Uh, can't do ever. Like like I said, it's just it's it's not acceptable. It's uh, you're not winning hockey games like that. And uh, yeah, we got it out. We saw it out there. When you see the way McKenzie, you know, played in that first period, particularly when you guys were giving up all those shots. I mean, what can you sort of say about hanging in there? <laughs> he gave us everything again. He, he gave us a chance to win, still win that game, even if we gave so many chances up. And uh, he plays unbelievable for us. It's uh, it's. Well, he's definitely not on, on, on the game at all. Uh, he's the best player out there. Does it make it even that more frustrating just knowing what he's been through, maybe not necessarily getting the results that he's deserved? Yeah, we got to be better for him. It's that simple. we got to be better for him. And how frustra frustrating is it to see just the constant mistakes of giving up odd man rushes, uh, breakaways? And all yeah, we were sloppy, um, downright bad in that area tonight. Um, not sure exactly what it is, if it's just um, like sloppy play or, or what it is, but um, but it can't happen. And just how frustrating is it when it does keep happening? Nico said you guys talked about it, but just couldn't correct it. Yeah, um, I mean, some of it's just bad puck play, and you're kind of going the wrong direction. Some of it's letting guys behind you. Um, I mean, the, the game gets tough when you're chasing it. Um, and we weren't a lot of the game. We were tied, and we kind of still let it happen. So. Um, Maybe the mental side of it needs to uh, be sharpened up a little bit. And how about, you know, especially in that first period, the way McKenzie played, you know, giving you guys every opportunity to find your game again? Yeah, he was good tonight. Um, I mean, he just asked for a chance to be in the game, and um, they outshot us, and I, I don't know, but I would assume Mo chanced us. So um, he was good. He gave us a chance to win. So it's, we need to be better for him. Is there something that they were doing to you guys to force you into those errors? Um, I mean, they're a hard forechecking team, and they put a lot of pressure. Um, they're big, and um, so they, I mean, they definitely pressure hard, but you need to be able to deal with that, and you're able to find ways to uh, break pucks out and to handle the pressure better than that. On top of that, how important does tomorrow become just knowing the break? Yeah. It's a tough team. Yeah, it's a good team. Um, I mean, we need to get the points where we can. Our division's good. It's our division is racking up points, so you can't let it slip. Um, but yeah, you want to feel good going into the break, um, and you definitely don't want to lose two in a row. Obviously, the defensive structure just look. I mean, how, how do you sort of evaluate what you saw or what you didn't see from your group? Well, you have to start with our puck play. Our puck management wasn't good. If you look at a couple of goals, we, we had on pucks. Uh, you know, first period wasn't the way we wanted to play, but I thought second period we were really starting to hit a stride until we. You know, we turned another puck over in our own zone. And that's been an area of our strength uh, tonight was a weakness. Did you feel like there was enough second effort on some of those plays, the goals? Uh, well, we have something I'll have to look at. But, uh, you know, I thought for the most part, when you got people going up ice because you're, you know, you're trying to create offense and you turn a puck over, you're going to have a lot of people in bad positions. Would uh, a good thing about this game be the way that Jack, Sharon, Z uh, ended up well, I thought our transition game on a whole, uh, including them, uh, we generated a lot more opportunities. Yeah. Um, you know, Jack was in quite a few. Uh, you know, uh, Nico's line again uh, was in it quite a few. Uh, so, you know, I thought on a whole that part of our game, our speed of our game, and, and moving up the ice, uh, just some of the decisions really hurt us. One of the things some of the guys were saying is just the disappointing result, not just in and of itself, but. For McKenzie and the way he played, particularly in that first period, and the way he kept everyone in there. Yeah, right, that is the disappointing part. Uh, you know, and I thought uh, we got the goal in the second, take the lead. Uh, you know, we were playing well away from the puck. Uh, you know, our defense turns the puck over on a on our own breakout and on a play that uh, really was a nothing play. We weren't under duress, and uh, you know, it ends up with uh, a puck ending up in the back of our net.
how important then does tomorrow really become? Every, every game is important. important. <laughs> I mean, every every game is. I mean, if you look around, it, it, it just every game is a battle. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen that. I mean, we almost battle back. Um, you know, I thought uh, the six on five, we got uh, we got the opportunity. We almost had an opportunity at, a, at another one. So uh, you got to move on to the next game. Yeah, you mentioned that turnover where uh, there wasn't much pressure. When you've had a couple that already occur where there was some pressure, did the guys start like anticipating pressure that's maybe not not there? Like, did you stop no, you got to make a decision. Yeah. So you know, I think you know you look at the goal and the you look at the goal again in the in the third period where. You know, we were staying away from those plays. Just it was a young D's mistake, uh, that one. Um, older D made the same mistakes on the other one. So um, you make those mistakes, uh, you're going to pay for them.